All right, good morning, geometry students. Here is our very first instructional video on Unit 8. Today we're going to start by talking about something called dilations and how to draw dilations in the coordinate plane. A dilation, like this picture shows you, is just when we take an image and we either increase it in size or we decrease it in size, but we keep the two shapes proportional to one another. So we're going to talk about how that looks on the coordinate plane, how we can do that ourselves, um, while also looking at some variations of this problem. Please feel free to follow along in the guided notes. That's what I'll be using here. Um, and if you don't have a printer, then you can simply watch the video and revisit this as necessary when you're trying your practice problems. All right, guys, so let's go to the beginning of the guided notes. Some vocabulary here that we should know. Dilations are really just another type of transformation. You may recall earlier this year we talked about transformations quite a bit, but we kept our conversation to really three types of transformations. We did rotations, we talked about reflections, and translations, which you might recall is just like a slide. So now we're going to add dilations to this list. If a figure is dilated, the image has a couple of these properties. Now we call the original shape, like this red shape down here, this would be called the pre-image. And the side lengths of the pre-image, the image we start with, are always multiplied by some constant amount. That constant amount is called the scale factor. If you have a pre-image and uh, a dilated image, the distance from what we call the center of dilation is always multiplied by the scale factor, which is nice because if the center of dilation is the origin, that means we can just take the original coordinates and multiply those numbers by the scale factor. You can see that in the example down below. This red triangle here is our pre-image. Notice the coordinates of this point are 2, 3. Our scale factor is 2. If I take the coordinates of 2, 3 and simply multiply both those numbers by 2, we get our new point, 4, 6. And you can use this trick as long as your center of dilation is the origin. If your center of dilation is some other number, we need to use a different technique, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. So let's try an example where we are using the origin as the center of dilation. So we're going to do a, a dilation of a rectangle here. So first thing I'm going to do is just plot these four points. So 2, 2 is here. Here's point A. 6, 2 is here. 6, 5 for point C, and 2, 5 for point D. And we're going to take this rectangle and we're going to dilate it by a scale factor of 3 over 2, or in other words, 1.5, and we're going to use the origin as our center of dilation. So because we're using the origin, I can use the trick that I just mentioned on the previous slide, where I take the original coordinates, 2, 2, 6, 2, 6, 5, and 2, 5, and I'm simply going to multiply these coordinates by 1.5 to give me my new points. So 2, 2 will become... 3, 3, multiply each number by 1.5. 6, 2 will become 9, 3. 6, 5 will become 9, 7.5. And 2, 5 will become 3, 7.5. And now I have my four points of my new image. So let's just plot those points. 3, 3 is here. 9, 3 is here, 9, 7.5, and 3, 7.5. And recall.
recall the notation we use for a transformation is that this point would be called A prime, E prime, C prime, and D prime. And that is how we can do a dilation when the origin, the point 0, 0, is used as our center of dilation. It's very nice. Now, let's move on to another example. This is the next example in your guided notes. Here, our center of dilation is not going to be the origin. Our center of dilation is going to be the point 3, 2, which is right here. So to do this, we're going to have to just think about some distances from the center of dilation using our scale factor of 2 in order to find the new points. So here's how I think of this. My center of dilation is here. I'm going to look at the distance from this point to all three points in this triangle, what we call the pre-image. The distance from here to point B is this little blue diagonal unit. If our scale factor is 2, I'm going to take this distance and double it, multiply it by 2. So instead of from this blue center of dilation, we have one diagonal unit, I'm going to double that, and now we have two diagonal units, and this is where B prime goes. Now I'm going to do the same thing with point C over here. The distance from my center of dilation to point C is one diagonal unit in the opposite direction. Because my scale factor is 2, I'm going to double it, C prime is right here. And for point A, the distance from my center of dilation to point A is this diagonal unit that's kind of found by going back to and down one. So to double this length, I'm going to go back to down one and then back to down one again. And now I can see that A prime is right here at negative one zero. Once you've doubled all those distances, we can simply connect our points together. And here is our dilated image, A prime, B prime, and C prime. So now it's time for you to try. On the next page of your guide to notes, there are two examples there. I would ask you to pause the video right now and go try those two examples. When you're finished, come back to the video, you can unpause me, and I will continue on working out those two problems so you can check your answers. So go ahead and pause right now. All right, now that you've tried those two problems, let's check your work real quick. Or if you got stuck, now you can find out what you needed to do. So with our first example, we're gonna use the origin as the center of dilation. Remember, this is the nice, easy way to do these by using the center at 0, 0. Because we can just multiply the coordinates. So I'll plot these three points, 6, negative 1, negative 4, 4, and negative 6, negative 1. Okay. And my three original points are A, B, and C. Okay, we're going to use the origin as our center of dilation with a scale factor of one half. So once again, we can take our three original points and simply multiply them by that scale factor. So our new image are, will have coordinates 3, negative 1 half, negative 2, 2, and negative 3, negative 1 half. Again, just multiplying all the coordinates by 1 half. So plotting those three points, A prime will be here, B prime will be here, and C prime will be here. And it makes sense that we should get a smaller image because our scale factor was less than 1. Anytime we have a scale factor less than 1, we're going to go from a larger image to a smaller image. So here we have A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay, the next example, 
We are, again, starting with a quadrilateral, but here we're going to use a scale factor of 3, so we'll get a larger image, and instead of the origin, our center of dilation will be the point zero one. So let's go ahead and plot these four points to get us started. There's A, B, and C, and D. Okay, so we get kind of this quadrilateral looking shape here. Now, because we're not using the origin as the center, we cannot simply multiply our four coordinates by the scale factor. Instead, we're going to have to look at the distances. So my center of dilation is the point zero, 01 right here. So I'm going to look at the distance from my center of dilation to each of these four points. So from this point to point A, it is one, two, three units. My scale factor is three, which means I'm going to multiply that distance by three. Three times three is nine. So instead of going up three units here, that tells me A prime is going to be up nine units. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A prime is all the way up here. Now we can look at the distance from the center of dilation to point B. I kind of had to go down one and over two. I'm going to multiply that distance by three. So down one over two once, down one over two twice, down one over two three times. I've tripled that distance. Here's B prime. For point C, same thing. So I had to go back one and down three. We're going to triple that distance. Back one, down three. Back one, down three. Here is C prime. For point D, same thing. It was just one little diagonal unit here. So let's triple that. One, two, three. Here is D prime. Maybe I'll go back here and make this look consistent with the others. Down one over two, down one over two. So you can see it's really the distances from the center of dilation to our original point, and that distance gets multiplied by the scale factor. Now that we've done that, we have all four of our points dilated. We can connect these together. And notice we get a shape that looks like the original shape, but that has just been blown up, like almost we used a copy machine, right, to enlarge it. Okay, so this has been your video on dilations using either the origin as your center of dilation or some other point. In your uh, homework assignment today, you will see a couple problems just like these. Feel free to come back to the video as needed uh, if you need help. Thanks, guys.